BFTB, best fight the best. So, Manny Pacquiao comes out and says, oh, Terrence Crawford ducked me. <laughs> Yo. Yo. And then the Pactards who disappeared. I thought these motherfuckers were extinct. But the Pactards come back out in full effect in droves. Now the Pactards are their own individual group. They are an accumulation of protectors and sheep bundled in one. The Pactards come out in droves and their thing is yeah, see? Terrence Crawford was scared. He was scared of Manny Pacquiao. He was scared. And then I give them factual evidence to the, to the contrary. And they say, well, no, it was Bob Arum that was scared. And then I tell them, well, Bob Arum was the one that was trying to make Terrence Crawford Manny Pacquiao. He was trying to make that fight. He wasn't trying to, like, get around it. He was trying to make it. It was Manny Pacquiao who said, um, in order for me to fight Terrence Crawford, I want $20 million. And this is a Terrence Crawford that um, you all were saying, oh, well, Terrence Crawford, he hasn't done anything at 147. Or he's got to move up to 147 to fight Manny Pacquiao. He can't fight Manny Pacquiao at 140. He's got to move up to 147, although he had never fought at 147. But that's what you all were saying. He's got to move up to 147 to fight Manny Pacquiao. He never said that he wouldn't move up to one. But that was just one of the excuses that y'all were using. That was one. Of, that was one of the original excuses. Oh, well, Terrence Crawford needs to move up. He can't fight at 140. Although, at the time, it was well, Manny Pacquiao's best weight is 140. That's his best weight. That's his natural weight. His natural weight is 140, so he he should be fighting at 140. He's actually small for the weight. He's small for 140 and 147. He's such a small guy. I would like to move him down to 140 because if he goes back to 140, then his knockouts will come back. His knockouts will come back at 140. Okay. Well, Terrence Crawford is at 140. And then we say, well, move back down to 140 and fight Terrence Crawford then. Oh, well, well, he's a legend. He's a legend. Why does a legend have to go down to 140 and fight such a such a, a longer rangy guy? This guy is Floyd Mayweather with power. That's so wrong. You guys are trying to you you want to force him. To, you don't you're not trying to force Floyd Mayweather to go down to 140. You're not trying to for, force him to fight Terrence Crawford. Yo, first off, I don't give a fuck about Floyd Mayweather. I cared about Floyd Mayweather when Floyd Mayweather was fighting because I want the best to fight the best. Floyd Mayweather is not fighting. He's a circus show right now. That's all he is, a circus show. Just fighting them. Anybody that will give him the most money and it don't matter when I say anybody, I mean anybody. Anybody. This motherfucker might might fight um, Donald Trump in a celebrity, a celebrity match to make $300 million. And they'll both fucking do it. They, he might fight somebody in the WWE next. Just to make a huge ass payday. He don't give a fuck about boxing no more. That's why I don't give a fuck about him no more. I cared with a D about Floyd big time when he was boxing. He is no longer boxing. He is entertainment is what he is. Nothing more, nothing less. That is what he is. He is sports entertainment he is not boxing anymore so I no longer care about Floyd anymore okay so let's get that shit straight right now Manny Pacquiao is still boxing he's still boxing he's got the WBA regular the bullshit title the title doesn't mean anything but he has it so I'm not trying to hear this shit about Manny Pacquiao's a legend and he deserves to fight. No, no. What Manny Pacquiao deserves is he deserves to either do one of two things. Shut the fuck up. Keep his bullshit regular title. It doesn't mean nothing to nobody. And go out on a circus show 
just fighting across the country, I mean, across the, uh, the globe, uh, fighting anybody across the globe, like UFC, WWE, um, Strike Force, don't matter. Just go up, just do that and get your money. Or you can actually fight somebody that means something. You can do that. Fighting Broner does not mean anything because he is a bona fide gatekeeper. Doing a rematch with Floyd Mayweather doesn't mean anything because he is all about the event. That's it. It is, a, it is an event show for Floyd Mayweather to make a big buck and that's it. To rob the bank again from his own admission. His own admission to rob the bank again and then move on. So he can rob the bank all he wants. My money won't be in that bank. Your money can be in there as a fucking packed hard. Your money can be in there with the hope that, oh, Manny Pacquiao's shoulder is no longer messed up, which it never was in the first place. Oh, oh, well, now that Manny Pacquiao fought him, you know, he'll be able to do better, just like he did with his other multiple rematches. Not going to happen. What's going to happen is he's going to get schooled again, and then you guys are going to make up some other excuse again. Like, oh, well, if this was Manny, if this was Manny um, 25 years ago, then he would have destroyed Floyd Mayweather. He would destroy him. You know, if that's the route y'all want to take, fine, fine, fine. But like the rappers in the URL say, sit your old ass down. Let a young nigga live and sit your old ass down. You motherfuckers are has-beens. Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, has-beens. Get the fuck out of the game, dog. And if you're not going to get the fuck out of the game, then fight a young lion. And prove you'd still belong to be in the game. And don't give me this shit about, oh, well, Adrian Broner. He is a gatekeeper. Bonafide gatekeeper for a circus show. He is continuing on the path of a circus show. That's it. The, o the only difference between Broner right now is he is 29 years old. He's a 29-year-old gatekeeper. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Don't let his hands go. He has no chance against Manny Pacquiao. He's just going to stand there, wait till the last 10 seconds of the round, and try to swing some punches to try to catch uh, Manny Pacquiao. And I hope he does catch him and knock him the fuck out, although I, ho I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. What I think is going to happen is Manny Pacquiao is going to get, not think, what I know is going to happen is Manny Pacquiao is going to get in there and shine on Broner. Absolutely shine on him. School this dude bad with multiple punches. And he it might be the first time that uh, Adrian Broner gets knocked out. And then they're going to say, oh, Manny Pacquiao is back. See if this Manny Pacquiao would have fought Floyd Mayweather, he would have beat him. He would have he destroyed him. See, this Manny, this is what a healthy Manny Pacquiao looks like. No, packed hearts. It's not, it won't be what a healthy Manny Pacquiao looks like. It'll be what a Manny Pacquiao looks like who's punching on a punching bag who does not punch back. That's what it will look like. But you guys, will just, you packed hearts will just overlook that one. Nope, you just look right on top of that. Don't matter that Broner ain't punching back. Don't matter. This is the this is the great Manny Pacquiao, and 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 for that reason, and for that reason only, um, I'm I will be glad and happy that Manny Pacquiao beats Bron, so that then the event, the farce, the sideshow, the circus show, that will be Floyd Mayweather Manny Pacquiao two will happen. The excuse of, oh well, Manny Pacquiao, his shoulder was injured. If his shoulder was an injury, then he would have won, and if. Floyd Mayweather would have just stood there and not threw punches. Manny Pacquiao would have won so easy. That's a fact. Pathetic. Fucking pathetic. Look, bottom line. Pacquiao's talking about Crawford ducked him. <laughs> well, guess what, Manny Pacquiao? Guess what, brother? Guess what? You are still fighting. You are still fighting. Your bitch ass is the one that said you want $20 million to fight uh, a guy who 
never fought at 147 and you wanted to come up to 147. Your bitch ass said that. You, nobody else. You said you want $20 million and, and everybody's like, oh, well, that's, that's Manny Pacquiao's normal pay. That's what he normally gets to fight. But, he, but then his next fight, instead of fighting Terrence Crawford, he went and fought Jeff Horn. He went and fought Jeff Horn for not even half of that. Not even half of the $20 million that he was demanding for Terrence Crawford. And lost to Terrence Crawford. I mean, lost to uh, Jeff Horn. I don't give a fuck if you guys say, oh, well, uh, I think he actually won. Oh, that fight should have been stopped in the ninth. Well, it wasn't. And that motherfucker lost. Period. There was no point at no time at all ever that Jeff Horn had any chance whatsoever at beating Terrence Crawford. Terrence beat the shit out of him. Badly. Badly. There was at no time, at no point, that Jeff Horn was bullying Terrence Crawford anywhere. But mysteriously, the guy that bullied Manny Pacquiao bludgeoned him all over the fucking place. Whether it was dirty tactics or not, he couldn't get any of those dirty tactics off on Terrence Crawford. But mysteriously, he did it to Manny Pacquiao. But Terrence Crawford is supposed to duck that. Terrence Crawford been calling out Manny Pacquiao. Now, now that is the one thing, um, unlike, unlike Errol Spence, unlike Errol Spence, who Terrence Crawford won't mention his name after a fight, he won't say, oh, I want Errol Spence next, but he damn sure did say, I want Manny Pacquiao. He damn sure did say that. Now, I'm not going to go into, I wonder why, because that's not what this video is about, and I'll do that when all by itself but that is a factual statement that Terrence Crawford called out Manny Pacquiao by name called him out I want Pacquiao by name after a fight I don't remember what fight that was but I damn sure will get that I will look that up and I will have that for my next video because he damn sure said when they said well who do you want next and he said Pacquiao by name he didn't say, I want them all. He didn't say everybody. Bob set it up. He didn't say nothing like that. He said, Pacquiao. Pacquiao. That's what he said. Um, but where was Pacquiao at? Was Pacquiao saying, oh, no. Oh, you, you ducked me then. I, I was trying to fight you and you ducked me. So why are you calling me out now? Did anybody on his team say that? Did anybody associated with Manny Pacquiao say that? No, they didn't. What they did say is, oh, well, Manny Pacquiao's a legend. So if that fight happens, it's got to be on Manny Pacquiao's terms. It's either got to be at 143, 144, 147. It ain't going to be what, what Bud wants because Pacquiao's a legend. He's an eighth division champion. He's a legend. He should be, he could, he don't have to fight Kurt Terrence. He could do whatever he wants. Blah, blah, blah. And all these other fucking punk bitch ass excuses. Nah, fuck that. If that motherfucker, if if Ter if he's saying that Terrence Crawford is ducking him, well, guess what? You can make the fight happen right now. You are fighting. You are still fighting. You can make that fight happen next. You can shut everybody up. Make it happen next. Terrence Crawford. Manny Pacquiao next. That fight can happen. They are still fighting. So if you're claiming that he ducked you and he's telling you he wants that smoke, well then this is easy. Make the fight happen. This is real easy. This is simple. He's saying, I'm not ducking you. I want that work. And you're saying he is. Fine. Well, make the fight happen. What's the hold up, Manny Pacquiao? You're your own boss now. You're with Bob Arum. I'm not with Bob Arum. You're with Al Heyman. That means you don't have a promoter. You don't have anybody holding you back, holding you down. You are your own boss, Manny Pacquiao. So if you want Terrence Crawford, if you want to show the world that Terrence Crawford ducked you, you are your own boss. Make the fight then.
Make the fight. What's the problem? There's no one holding you back now. There's no one saying, oh, well, uh, talk to my promoter. My promoter, uh, Bob Adam, uh, uh, talk to my uh, power pellets. Look, nobody's holding you back. Nobody. There is nobody in the way of a Manny Pacquiao, Terrence Crawford showdown. Nobody. Bob Arum been trying to make that fight. He been trying to make that fight so he can pass the baton on to the young line. Because it was going to get passed. And you were going to get knocked the fuck out. Badly. But, now you have your opportunity to show the world that Terrence Crawford ducked you. Call him out for a fight. Let the world know you have no promoter now. There is no Bob Arum holding you back. So, is Bob Arum holding back Terrence Crawford? Expose them. Expose them, Manny Pacquiao. What's the problem? The problem is you are a fucking liar. That's the problem. You didn't want Terrence Crawford. You still don't want Terrence Crawford. That man offered to fight you, called you out by name, and you said, uh, $20 million. Um, it'll have to be $20 million. That's all I'm, I will not go no lower, $20 million. For a guy who never fought at 147, and you wanted him to go to 147. Fucking pathetic, man. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. The state of boxing is being fucked up and is being fucked up by duckers. Duckers, con men, and liars. BFT being, I'm out.